welcome back to our youtube channel uh, we are continuing our web series aws for developers and we are following our chapter beanstalk uh, in previous uh, videos in this chapter we covered that how we can set up beanstalk instances and how we can deploy our beanstalk application code uh, from the beanstalk management console so in this video we will continue uh, to uh, and we will learn how we can impl implement the three tier architecture using beanstalk uh, from the management console so um uh, the benefit of having uh, three tier architecture is you are following all the principles uh, or uh, and the industry industry standards so uh, let's do that so we already created a vpc um if i navigate to the vpc so we already have public and private subnets underneath so if i go to the vpc first let's uh, let me search my vpc uh, so uh, we already implement a three tier architecture at our infrastructure level <clears throat> so we have uh, we have private subnets we have public subnets so we already implement uh, the architecture at uh, from networking perspective now we need to uh, see how we can implement um, through um, three tier architecture through um, beanstalk uh, console so we already deployed one applica uh, application uh, we will be just using continue to using that in uh, application uh, under the application we will be creating a new environment uh, and we are using web server environment so just click on the select button so here we need to provide the relevant detail about the naming conventions and everything so we are calling it as a production in env uh, 02 so uh, because we are in uh, you can say test environment so i'm not much concerned about the uh, naming convention at the moment but you can choose your own naming convention so from here we can choose the manage platforms uh we are intent to use python at the moment and we are using all the latest greatest version and the platform and at the moment what we are doing we are going with a sample application um as you remember we need to implement the three tier architecture using beanstalk so we would need, we would need to go to the configure more option so the first thing we need to do is we need to change the capacity this is the first step we need to be very careful about uh, we should not leave it as a single uh, if we need to implement the multi-tier architecture in beanstalk so we, we we must need to consider the load balance environment however we can just change the number of instances for man, minimum and a maximum we can choose to go with the one one instance this is similar as single uh, instance but uh, we can define our max thresh, uh, max limit as well if we uh, would if we would like to go in in or we are scaling at the moment uh, on that time so uh, just save it uh, we are leaving everything as a uh, default the next thing we need to do is we need to configure the networking part so in the networking part what we need to do is we need, first we need to choose our vpc so uh, when you create a load balanced uh, beanstalk so you would see that load balancer settings otherwise if you, you if you choose to go with a single instance you won't be able to see that part so uh, since we are uh, we selected the load balanced so that's why we are seeing this if you are not seeing this so go back to your capacity uh, option and choose the single form load balanced so uh, we always need to uh, focus uh, and we need to remember that uh, load balancer visibility should be public if we would like to uh, uh, like publish our application to the internet if we don't and we don't if we only want to access our application internally so we can uh, choose the internal at the moment we are going with the public uh, and here we need to choose the public subnet as well we can't choose the private subnet as um, uh, this is uh, all the load balancer uh, subject to the public should be provisioned in the public subnet so uh, we choose one public subnet we choose two public subnet and this is the third public subnet we need to choose so now this is the instance settings uh, this is the first layer this is the first layer of our infrastructure or architecture then this is the second layer where we are uh, putting our uh, instances so um, at this at here we will be choosing all the private instances so uh, we need to go with all the private subnets as we discussed the three tier architecture so uh, this is the second layer and this is the third tier here uh, if we would like to provision our database in the private uh, database along, uh, so we can what we can do is we can choose our private subnet as well 
So what it does, it will provision our uh, the RDS instances on behalf of us. So uh, we can choose any of two or three private instances and we can just click on the save button. So once we click on the save button, we are done with our uh, configuration for three tier architecture implementation using Beanstalk. So yeah, if you need to configure the other options you can uh, or other configuration in the Beanstalk like uh, environment variables, you can choose from here. And if you need to configure the monitoring and rolling update and any other feature you would like to, you can go with as we go other, you know, on the other videos. So uh, we are click on we about to click on the we, we can uh, just select the RDS configuration as well from here. Uh, I, so if you need to choose uh, RDS instance, so you can configure the um, your storage and your admin username and password um we can this is the database settings so once you are done you can just click on the save button and you can just click on the create environment so this will take uh, around uh, 15 or maybe 20 minutes to provision your instances for demo purpose we already created a production environment so we can just see the logs and we can see the configuration so uh, if i go to the um, monitoring so i can see the application is uh, running and everything is uh, fine if i go to the health check and if i need to see uh, where this instance is actually provisioned so what i need to do is i just need to copy the instance uh, ip or uh, id sorry and then i i need to navigate to the EC2 management console from there um, I can find my instance so uh, this is the instance uh, this is my instance if I see so it's in the private subnet so uh, if I need to see the load balancer URL so this is my load balancer URL so you can see my application is up and running uh, even I can find the load balancer as well from the load balancer in the EC2 management console and this is my load balancer I can see the listener um, this is my listener so we can find that tag uh, this is coming from Beanstalk so this is uh, my all environment uh, if I go to events so I can see all the events uh, over here so uh, I hope uh, you will learn a lot in this video, small video if you like this video so don't uh, forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to share these videos to your colleagues uh, it may be help uh, help them in order to uh, learn the technologies thank you for watching this video